All right, guys. So we are checked into our hotel in Mount Olive, North Carolina. Yes. We are here for the Pickle Festival, and they are also celebrating their 150th year as a city this year. This yes. Year. Now, that was actually in 2020. We were supposed to come in 2020. We all know it happened in 2020. <laughs> Um, and then it got delayed or it got canceled again last year. Yes. So, so the first year back since 2019, we're super excited. We've been downtown. We've seen some stuff. Yeah. There's a giant pickle, uh, mural. We're really very excited about. Um, we'll put some clips in for you guys yeah. to see it. But we got this awesome, they called it pickle pack. Pickle pack. So first and foremost, we want to take a second to thank Julie Beck at the Mount Olive Chamber of Commerce. They are hosting us this weekend. Um, so they have put us up in the sleep in and suites here in Mount Olive, um, and they are allowing us to be part of the Pickle Fest tomorrow as VIP guests. And we so. should say this is a huge room. We're very thankful. We got it's two nights so here. So big. We'll put a little bit of video here at the end yeah, here, so you we'll can kind of see the room. So you can see it. Um, but let's get into the pickle packet. Here we go. Now we did also. Uh, there's an envelope that was attached to the front here. We yeah. put, put that outside. It's got our tickets and stuff that and we need for tomorrow. Wristbands for tomorrow. Um, or parking passes in the car, so yeah. we're ready to go, but let's see. Okay. I just want to say, for you guys who know me, you know I love pickles more than probably a, a normal human. So the fact that we're opening a pickle pack right now, I could not be more excited. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, alright. There's got to be some pickles in there, right? It was heavy. This is the first time I put your hand up. Oh, okay. okay. You can open your eyes and look at it. Okay, so it's like a bookmark. Oh, it's got some fun facts. Pickle trivia fact number 28. While some Mount Olive items are kosher in that they are garlic flavored, all of Mount Olive's products are certified as kosher by the Orthodox Union, or OU. Look for the tiny OU symbol near the Mount Olive logo on the labels. In this sense, the word kosher means proper or acceptable under Jewish dietary traditions. Okay. Closure. We'll share some more fun facts. Okay. Next. Oh, yeah, I knew there were pickles in there. Okay, these are the sandwich stuffer. These are the thin slices. Kosher dill. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, sweet petites. Oh, these are my favorite, you guys. I love to snack on these with, like, cheese and crackers. Top notch. Okay, bread and butter chips, classic. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of pickles, y'all. This is not a lot of pickles. Ugh. Ooh, sweet heat bread and butter spears. Okay, so I've actually never had these. Have you had these before? No. Ooh, I'm excited to try those. Sweet heat, oh gosh. Simply Vidalia, bread and butter garden salad with Vidalia onions in it. This one's mine. You can kind of see the onions packed into the bottom of it. Which one's yours? This one. So, oh. this is a mild pickle salsa. No, it has any cucumbers, it's just onions and stuff, but man, it looks good. Mm -hmm. And I will point out real quick, so this one's a new item, you can see it on the label here. Yeah. And then I don't know if you noticed, but see we got this cucumber and vine? Yeah. Theme. Keep that pack or keep a can in your hand. I want you guys to see it right there. That's actually on all these packs of pickles. I don't know if it's on. Oh yeah. Normally on. Right there. Not on all of them or not. But yeah, it's on all of them. No, I know it's on all of these. I don't know if it's on all. If it's on a normal. I think we oh. go to Walmart if that's on there. Oh, I don't know. So we got some pickled stuff to try. Y'all, I got plenty of snacks. That's the good news. And this particular hotel has a little like grocery section oh. downstairs. So if you think I'm not going down down there to get cheese and crackers, you're crazy. You open it on. This one's got plastic on it. Huh? Thoughts? Oh no. Yeah, she don't like onions. Yeah, I don't like onions. That's interesting. I need to get some chips to try it properly. You smell it? No, we need to put back in the fridge because I opened it. Ooh, it smells good though. It's definitely got some pickle juice in it. Yeah, yeah, it's got pickle. You can smell that for sure. Yeah, pickle flavor, so. All right, yeah. we're going to rest up a little bit, guys, and then we're going to go to Revise. Is that what's called? Revise Steakhouse, which is downtown. For dinner tonight. Um, they provided us a gift card for dinner downtown tonight. So we'll let you guys check we'll it come out. Come back in a little bit and tell you what we think of that. Yeah. And then um, we will, our next video probably will be all about the Pickle Festival. So see you guys tomorrow.
Bye. Pickle Festival. Uh, we just got here. We walked down a little bit. We picked up our first pickle of the day. Hot and spicy Mount Olive pickle. Yeah. There's uh, just off us. So we had to come in the back street here, but just over there, there's a the whole booth. We're handing out pickles all day. So. <laughs> They've got a bunch of different kinds. You can just get like the sour ones. You can get the normal dill. Hot and spicy. You can pick which one you want. So kosher just... dill. Yeah. So, um, which we did learn yesterday. All their pickles are kosher. Yes. Um, but, uh, Thanks to our pickle pack. What are your first thoughts? It is incredibly busy, you guys. So Mount Olive, North Carolina is a pretty small town, um, but they haven't been able to hold this festival in two years. So we were originally supposed to come back in 2020, which we told you guys. So people have been waiting two years for this festival to come back. Um, I've already heard people coming from like Asheville. We're obviously from South Carolina. Like people are coming from all over for this festival and it is packed. But really excited to get our, you know, first pickle sample of the day. There's a lot of different vendors. We've seen some like ices, slushies, lemonades. Um, oh, rescue. Yeah, reptile <laughs> rescue, funnel cakes. Like there's a lot of different stuff here. So we're going to try and show you guys as much as we can. There's going to be a lot of crowds in the video, but we just kind of want to show off the vendors that are here. And of course, the pickles. Oh my God. <laughs> okay guys, part of the festival is a classic car show. You can kind of see some of them behind here. We'll show you some more, but we're about to go explore the cars. We take some photos. Yeah, look they around. look gorgeous. I mean, just look at them. I don't think we'd ever want to own one, but we love looking at them. Speak for yourself. Okay, so we finished looking at all the cars. We found out we have very different tastes than classic cars. Very different. I want a truck. There's a Jeep Scrambler. Jeep Scrambler, I'll take. I'm more of a Stingray kind of gal. Yeah, she wants to get arrested. But that's why she wants that type of car. I want the fast ones. There's also a classic uh, tractor. Show. I don't see any John Deere's, which is unfortunate. But <laughs> yeah, that is a little strange. All farm, all Fords. Yeah, no John oh. Deere's. But it's been pretty cool so far. We got a the tent where you can feed butterflies over here. Um, Bree's probably gonna do that. Um, but yeah, let's keep exploring.
Okay guys, so we just finished lunch. Uh, I walked around looked at some of the shops, some of the stores. Yep. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's still crazy busy, you guys. Like, the lines to find food. Br Brie wants some shaved ice. All the lines are crazy. I absolutely want shaved ice. It's 85 degrees out here, y'all. It is hot. But it's great weather. But it's, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Sunny, shiny, food's been fantastic. We had lunch at pops food truck or paps food truck i'm not totally yeah. sure um but we'll tag them below their facebook page i was able to find it so good yeah they're a catering company they were doing uh either chicken wings or pieces of fried chicken yeah um i got the chicken wings they were awesome i had a dc style barbecue sauce yeah or a buffalo like hot sauce it was great you had the chicken i had the chicken which was just like a, a thigh and a uh, a leg I had the fox sauce on mine. Fun fact, all of their sauces are named after their six children, which I thought was super cute. <laughs> was it but, children or grandchildren? I think it's a think it's like grandchildren. Oh, maybe it was grandchildren, but, but they're all named after them. But that, the chicken was cooked so well. Yours it was, was so, so, it was perfectly well. fried and crispy on the outside. Oh and my then, gosh. Sorry. Um, and y'all, those sauces, so I mean, definitely vinegar based, so, so good. Yeah. The fox one was supposed to be really spicy, I didn't think it was all that spicy, but it was very good. I totally get it. Mine was more kind of Asian style, like a sweet and sour type sauce. Yeah. And then uh, I walked around a little bit and looked at some stories. I stopped by Shipwreck Seasoning. This is, they call it Satan's Fire. It's uh, a, <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, paprika, granulated garlic, granulated onion, kosher salt, uh, black pepper, oregano thyme, but then it's got cayenne pepper, habanero pepper and Carolina Reaper pepper on it. I'll tell you what, my bottom lip is still burning a little bit from trying it, but man, is it good. And it'll be great on some seafood or some stuff. Oh my gosh, I cannot so. wait to use it. But this, I mean, this festival has been incredible. They've had a little bit of everything. We're literally about to go watch a mascot race. I went and race, saw the pickle guys. train. Yeah, yeah. We'll, so. we'll put some clips into the pickle train, but we're gonna watch the mascot race. So they have a pickle mascot for the festival. His name is Ollie. And he has a pickle, but there's gonna be some other mascots from around the area, around the state that are gonna be doing it with them. So we'll put some clips in that too. It's pretty hilarious. All right, guys. So definitely, we'll. Uh, I definitely. Sorry think... about the helicopter. Yeah, let's let that pass. Um, we are circling all day. But I definitely think I would recommend coming out to the pickle festival. It's been a ton of fun. Oh my gosh. Um, so much fun. Live and... music. Beer and wine garden, pickle eating contests, like they've got everything, classic cars, everything your heart could want from a festival. So check out this reel of some of the stuff that we walked around and saw yeah. and seen and uh, enjoy your weekend and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.